Here I'm holding two acrylic tubes for the vowels E and the vowel R. The end I'm holding is the larynx end and the top end is where the lips are. And you can see by comparing these two tubes that the E vowel is much narrower in the mouth area than the R vowel. With an electrolarynx like this one, we can demonstrate that these tubes do indeed produce the vowels we might expect. Here is the E tube, and if I place the electrolarynx in the end, this becomes. And for the R tube, we can do the same thing, and this becomes which goes to show that if you can get the shape modelled correctly, you can then synthesise mechanically different vowels.